Michigan fans, I want to ask them the same question we asked about the Lions. Who slash what concerns you? Like, what is the threat? What is the threat to Michigan football this year? And and by that, we're talking about to reach whatever ceiling you think they have. Yeah, beyond injuries. Yep. What would you say is the threat? And I, I'm gonna I'm gonna answer here. I think it's a little bit of they're passing the eye test with flying colors, but you just don't know because of the the schedule. I mean, we'll find out November 11th, but at, at the and that three week stretch to end the season is going to be a test, and they you know it's it's going to be a stiff one. But until then. The rivalry game could could give him problems, but the reality is that that's when you you earn it. And yet, I have never remembered a season Gator that felt like as much an extension of the previous season because so many of the component parts are the same. Last year they passed the tests up until the TCU game, obviously, but they passed enough that this season, even though they haven't been tested yet, it feels like an extension of last year more than any Michigan back-to-back years I can remember, eh, maybe back to the early 90s. I think it was Elvis Gerback era. They're in a stretch now, though. I mean, they made the playoff two years in a row. Yeah. They're on pace to make the, the playoffs for a third time. And I mean, you're talking about the top four teams in college football. That's that's nothing that Michigan teams have done before. No, uh, but I'm just saying, I'm saying the carryover from one year to the next it, as much as they haven't been tested so far this year, I feel like, well, this team passed the test. They just passed it last year because there's so many of the same players. But 